Hello everyone, and happy Halloween. Chances are I probably uploaded this a day late, or maybe on November 1st. But either still, either still, either way, I hope you have slash had a happy Halloween. I hope you get slash got a lot of candy, and I hope you enjoy slash enjoyed it. Or will enjoy it if you still have eaten it all by now. It, that was my alarm, ignore that. Now, I have been waiting forever to play Little Nightmares. I tried to play it on my PC, but it didn't go so well. Because, uh, while I am able to record it, it had random laggy spurts. So I decided to play it on a console that would never make it lag. The PS4. Now, Little Nightmares 2 is coming out next year, and I intend on getting it. So yeah. Also, I'm going to point this out now. I'm going to be very unhappy if the next Kingdom Hearts game is on PS5. Though it probably will be. Although that'll mean I'm not going to be able to play it, because I will not have a PS5. That was not a voice crack. I intentionally made my voice go high-pitched. Anyways, let us begin with Little Nightmares. Wait, is it still muted? There we go. Now, I have gotten the Little Nightmares... Um, oh, I never noticed that hand there. I've never noticed that all this time. Anyways, um, I've gotten the complete edition of the Little Nightmares, which included, which includes the DLC, Secrets of the Maw. Ah, crap. Wait. Okay, no. Um, I tried to resize the screen so that it would actually work. Because the little eyeball on the TV screen is like, half of it is blocked by the screen. But it appears fine on the thing, so I guess I'll deal with it. Checking for downloadable content. Those are very small words to be reading on this big screen. Little Nightmares accesses data periodically. Please do not switch off the power if you see this icon. Yeah, notice how there is no... There, notice how there's no controls for how gray everything looks? Great, not gray. That's because the PS4 runs at a compatibility... Not compatibility. It has enough power to run this at high quality. Recently, my brain has just been going stupid lately. So, let's see, extras. I guess the secrets of the mall thing isn't available till later. Anyways, let's begin. Wait. Alright. No? Alright, how does that sound? It sounds good. I hope. Now, I decided to play this game since I'm not trick-or-treating right now. I have grown out of it. Sad, sad, I know. But, you know, it happens to everyone. Let's 
but I remember when we used to have pizza parties before we went out trick or treating. Who might this figure be? I wonder. Oh. My controller vibrated. I'm going to turn it up just a bit more. That'll do her. Listen to that detail of rain hitting my coat. That is some fine detail. Now there is supposedly in a, a trophy for lo lighting all of those up. I don't know if those serve as checkpoints or what, but you know. Now I actually made it pretty far through this game. I made it into the uh, kitchen area, I believe, making it out of the prison before I had to give up the recording. Cause it just got too laggy, man. How do I run? Okay, square. I don't know how I broke it, but I broke it. So, you get an achievement for finding all the gnomes. That's gnomes without a G. You get an achievement for breaking all those bottles. Or you break bottles and you also break dolls. You get achievements for doing a lot of things. What's this? Someone was over there. Oh. That was my throat. <laughs> huh. Oh my god. That guy No, you you know what really you know what really confuses me about this? This guy hung himself, but the chair is not kicked over. It's like he just he just jumped up into the noose. And just let gravity do its thing, instead of knocking out the thing beneath him. There's also some kind of a note here, I think? Why is it in an envelope? There are a lot of questions that might go unanswered. Well, hopefully he has a better life at the Golden Valley above. Nope, need to pull it closer. See, this is how games should be played, without lag. See, there's a little gnome over there. So yeah. Me having played this before, before I had to give up, 
explains how I know how to how I know how to do things. Now, because we're small, oops! Oh, oh my God! I almost screwed that up. Things that might seem generally harmless to humans are incredibly hazardous to me. Like these leeches. Get too close to one and they'll suddenly wrap around you and drain your blood faster than you can save bullet of spaghetti. They are not very nice. I'm not kidding when I say wrap either. They literally coil around you like a snake. It's creepy. Imagine a leech of all things doing that. It's like it's like Mr. Sweet from Doctor Who. Except he doesn't turn his victims red with waxy skin, he just kills them. And by he I mean the leech, not Mr. Sweet. Can I no I can't fold off, okay. For those who have not seen that episode. I don't blame you. Ooh! Oh! Oh god, oh no. I gotta, I gotta move. That's a lot of leeches. Push! Did they come after me? No, they're staying in there. Good. You guys stay in there and be creepy. I'll just mind my own business. Hey, it's okay, but I'm not gonna hurt. That was close. Ooh, it just got dark. Now, he, now it should be worth noting. I am not gonna go after all the secret, like dolls and stuff, because there is no secret ending. There really isn't. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Light. I see light! I must go to the light! Come on! Yes! Oh wait, do I go in here? I do. Oh! That's unsettling. What's happened? The screen went black. What has happened? Just a sec. Okay, we're good. It was just the HDMI cable. Okay. We are good. Oh, look at that! That's not just any light. You'll soon find out what that is. For now, how the hell do I get through? Oh, I clump. Oh, I see. 
Okay, I didn't even realize that was a tower. I thought that was a I thought that was a light coming through the slit of a door. Now you're probably thinking, but didn't you say you just didn't you just say you played this game before? Yes, but it looks strangely different on TV. But it's nothing I can't handle. Now here's where they get kind of clever. Notice this wire? The door just so conveniently opens to reveal a switch that was hidden. Now, that's not the last you're going to be seeing of that old guy you saw. I'm just telling you now. Now, you rush through, ignoring everything you see here. Just rush through. I like how I could hear the little train in the background. It's weird how all of that is powered by that one switch. Oh! Okay. So, you notice those kids there? Those aren't kids anymore. They're statues. This eye petrifies you if you stay in the, stay in the open too long. I almost tur got turned into stone myself. Whew, that was close. Now you should be fine here. Actually, hold on. Oops. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I was trying to get to the little thing on the other side. Oh, come on. You're going to put me back here. Oh, no, wait. I'm, I'm at the top of it. Okay. Okay. Leap of faith! Okay, I'm good. I thought I died again there. Hey, little buddy. Oh, wait. Can I pick him up? See, I'm hugging him and now he's following me. I wish I could take you with me, but I can't. It would be far too dangerous. So in case you haven't gathered, this is a prison. Now, this guy is a little bit of a pain in the ass. A little bit. You notice how he's feeling his way around? Here's an important tip. He's blind. He can't see at all, so he has to feel and hear his way around.
Now, there is no doubt that you're gonna have to deal with him later. His name is the Janitor. Janitor, sorry, not Janitor. Cursus, uh, dialect, I guess. Now, crouching is usually the best idea, but here's a tip. Keep, keep note of what floor you're walking on. Just because you're crouching doesn't mean he can't hear those creaky floorboards that eventually creak when you're, even when you're crouching on them. Carpet is the safest thing to walk on when you're dealing with him. Also, use sound to your advantage. Just because he can hear things well doesn't mean you're at a loss. You can use that to your advantage to cause a distraction. Also, try to avoid making noise. Oh, we're hungry. Notice how I can't dash anymore? That's because I'm starving. Oh, thank you, good sir. I'm fairly certain we're going to be seeing that boy either in Little Nightmares 2 or Secrets of the Maw. Or, I could be wrong. Oh, lovely, a noose. Okay, what do I do? Oh. Oh. That, st that startled me. Oh, this was a bad idea. I I pressed dash. Did I not press jump as well? Oh, I'm back here. Oh well. It's not too far from where I was. I still don't know what that was. Do I want to know? Probably not. Okay, so these things aren't checkpoints if I didn't spawn back here.
Squeeze through, squeeze through. There we go. It's a counterweight. Somehow I'm heavier than the locker. Oh, that's a leech. That's also a leech. Ugh, they make weird squeaky noises. And squeeze. There we go. We're good. We're not good. Oh, shoot. Shiza. Trophy unlocked. The prison. All completed within 28 minutes. 29 minutes. Not bad. Well, technically less than that. Because uh, I didn't start the official game until a couple minutes into the video. But still, not bad. I should move my mic up a bit more. Yeah, I will. Can you move?
Anyway. That was embarrassing. That was very embarrassing. All right, let's not do that again. All right, yes. Hmm. A gnome. Can I push this open? What's in here? There's a room back there. Can I not get through? Apparently not. Hmm. Oh. Up we go. So I only made it so far in this part. So, yeah. Yeah, I only made it so far in, the, in this uh, area. I, I can't remember where I left off at, but I'm sure I'll remember soon. Let me break that bottle. And boom.
Okay, how do I, how do I control this? There we go. I think I'm gonna get ill. Alright, I'm actually gonna end this episode here. So, thank you all for watching this first episode of Little Nightmares. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time.